get a major controversy. I'm just reading the story right now. Let's hope the college football playoff system, we thought it would remove controversies. Let's hope they get it right. It's a subjective committee. There is no getting it right. Only getting it right in somebody's opinion. The funny thing in the media and the fans demanded a playoff. You got it. And now you're complaining about it. <laughs> People go bananas with the 65th team in March Madness. You didn't think they were going, going to go nuts over the fourth team in college football, a more popular national sport? Does Baylor have a legitimate argument? Sure. Does TCU? Absolutely. Could Baylor be better than Ohio State? Yeah. I mean, for a day, Ole Miss was better than Alabama this year. For a day, Arizona was better than Oregon. Yes, Baylor could beat Ohio State. Absolutely. It's called upsets. Happens all the time. All where We're far less talented teams than Baylor beat people. But college football fans become the guy who complains he doesn't get a job promotion, and then he eventually does and complains about the hours. Well, better job <laughs> equals longer hours. You complain about it forever, here's your job promotion. Right, better job well, doesn't mean easier. I, I like all Saturdays off. Sorry, want the corner table? Mahogany desk? You don't get all Saturdays off. I not only predicted the four teams in order, Bama, Oregon, Florida State, Ohio State, and I've had those for a couple of weeks, but I predicted a year ago, this is what would happen. We'd have a fist fight over number four. All rankings are subjective. They're opinions. Even look at the FBI's 10 most wanted list in America. That's the FBI. They know what they're doing. They're buttoned down. Why is Grand Theft Auto guy at seven and beat a guy with a lead pipe number eight? Uh, depends on the need perspective in the moment. This is why sports is great. For the debates for the upsets, for the stuff that isn't absolute. College football ratings through the roof. I was listening to New York Sports Radio this weekend. They're talking college football. They never talk college football. This is what you asked for. Guy with a ponytail, exotic pet owner, who always demanded a job promotion, got it, and now you always want to leave Thursday at 4.30 for the margarita special down the street? You get the job promotion, you gotta stay at work longer, exotic pet guy. Rolls his own cigarettes guy. It's a grown up corner office now. We got a playoff system. We're gonna argue about stuff. It's great. And all the teams that didn't get in, TCU and Baylor have very legitimate argument. I heard a lot of people saying this. Well, okay, I, I mean, come on. I mean, come on now. How can TCU, uh, TCU go from three to six? Well, I'll tell you how. Just like how one day you looked at Joe Pa differently or Bill Cosby differently or Hugh Grant differently than you did one second earlier. We have earlier. these all the time. These holy crap moments that change everything. Ohio State on a neutral field with a third string quarterback in a conference championship game won 59 nothing over the second hottest team in the conference, Wisconsin. Wisconsin's not very good. You know what they've been for 21 years? Pretty damn good. 19 bowl games in 21 years. Six Rolls Bowls. Winning bowl record. J.J. Watt. Russell Wilson. The new great linebacker in the league, Chris Borum. A dozen good offensive and defensive linemen. They're better than 80% historically of what you'll watch in the SEC now in the Pac-12. So the idea that we're number three, how do we drop to six? Well, because you got... You got a holy what in the name of is that moment. 59, not in neutral field, third string quarterback over a good team. That happens all the time. By the way, this whole thinking like you can't win and move down, that's AP poll stuff. That's not the new committee. That's old school thinking. You win, you got to stay. doesn't work that way anymore. The data points change every week. They change every week. Like, if you're on GPS and you're driving into a stormy night and a tree falls in the middle of a road, you're going to stick to your GPS? Oh, got to drive around the tree. Got to figure it out now. Got to reroute. Pilots do it all the time. Ooh, storm moving right toward us. Data points change. Let's move it. 59 nothing. Neutral field. Good team. Uh, 
okay, that's just different. But you got to get out of this old school. We won. You beat a lousy team. Everybody beats Iowa State, okay? Sorry. In football. Baylor had a more impressive win, in my opinion. Ohio State did. They both moved up. Every week, your resume gets expanded. In Ohio State and in Baylor, their resumes got expanded after more impressive wins than TCU. It's okay. I still think TCU is better than Baylor. Just my opinion.